Last week we learnt about the kingdom fungi. This week we'll focus on how they reproduce. While mushrooms may seem to sprout overnight, it actually takes days or weeks for one to develop. Most of the growth of a fungus goes unnoticed because it occurs underground. The part of the mushroom that we see is the fruiting body, and like fruit that contains seeds, mushrooms contain spores. Microscopic spores fall from the pores and gills of mushrooms. If environmental conditions are right, fungal hyphae emerge from the spore, much like a sprout emerging from a seed. These hypha form a webby mass of white thread-like filaments, collectively known as mycelium or a mycorrhizal network. When conditions are right, the mycelium mass forms a bud-like structure, and from this emerges the mushroom that seemingly formed overnight. We've learned at school that fungi are decomposers that break down complex carbon compounds that are part of living matter. They absorb nutrients and leave behind simpler compounds. They get the energy from living or non-living plant or animal matter. But did you know they help plants communicate? Underground, the mycorrhizal network act as connectors to plant roots, transferring water, nitrogen, carbon and other minerals. Therefore, fungi are essential to ensure a healthy ecosystem. Fungi have a very short lifespan, though differs greatly from species to species. Some may live as short as a day, while others survive anywhere between a week and a month. So next time you see a mushroom, think about that incredible underground network connecting nature around you.